This stretch of the road trip has officially ended in Chicago because we're here for two days and then we get on a flight to Vegas. We don't have any plans after that because we can't think that far in well, advance. Plus, like, we'll have so much more money when we come back from that trip that, like, every it changes everything. Yes. Hey, we're Brandon and Alyssa. We saved $30,000 so we can travel for a year. For the first part of our adventure, we've decided to move into our Prius for an epic summer road trip from San Diego to Canada. We have no itinerary, no idea how far we'll get, and no clue what we're doing. All we know is we plan to go until one of us decides, here's good. Jen and her family have no idea that we're waiting for them at the gate. They think they're going to meet us outside, so we're surprising them. All right, four and a half hours later, we've made it to the rental car. Every square inch of this minivan is packed with groceries, babies, luggage. We're living the dream. Babies are upstairs. Jen's dad is parking. We're in charge of the luggage. We are here at the Bellagio checking out the conservatory. They change these four times annually. It's totally free to walk around. It's right adjacent to the really beautiful check-in area in the main lobby of the Bellagio. And they changed it since the last time we were here. It's fall now. This one smells. It smells like fall. I'm waiting for the bus to the airport. I need to take a quick trip home to San Diego for some medicine. Alyssa is gonna hang out with Jen and her family. The CX bus picks up right outside of Tropicana and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get to the airport and it's only two bucks. So if you're staying on that side of the strip, good option to get to it from the airport. Normally Alyssa just does all this stuff for me, so I have to use my brain for once. So far I'm not enjoying it all that much. It's way easier just to follow her around. My bus picked up at 9.45. I am here just at 10.20, which is my boarding time. Mission accomplished. Spend as little amount of time as you can in the airport. So if you're wondering, I have psoriatic arthritis. It's kind of an issue that I deal with. Some days are better than others. As you notice, we did quite a few hikes early on in the trip in like last in, and once we got to Mount Rainier and started acting up, I have to make a quick trip back to San Diego to meet with my doctor. Flying to San Diego today at 11 a.m. I am flying back at 11 p.m. Southwest was also doing a promotion, which is why we ended up in Vegas in the first place. Because I'm taking one round trip flight now, we get a companion pass every time I fly, Alyssa flies for free for the first three months of next year, which is right when we'll be getting back from Europe. I don't even ever look at the temperature when I come here. I just anticipate that it's gonna be 75 degrees and sunny. Bingo. My chariot has arrived. Yay! Lexi with the pickup. Lexi said, what do you want to do? I said, I want a burrito. <laughs> You're welcome. Lexi was nice enough to let me borrow her car, so I'm driving to my doctor's appointment.
I have made it to my doctor. Dr. Kotha in San Diego is my rheumatologist. She's amazing. She's worked with me for every step of the way. One of the main things with psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis in general is that there's no definite cure. I've tried topical creams, steroids, injections, pills, so many different medicine. The one that I'm on currently is definitely the best for both the skin and the joints, so I'm super stoked with that. The thing that sucks is it's something that I'll constantly have to deal with. At times, I won't be able to hike as far as I want or do as much activity as I typically would. Running is pretty much completely off the table for me these days. I was also planning on meeting up with some of the homies at Blind Burrow downtown where I used to work and I didn't realize that it was a game day. And Albert Pulhouse is two home runs away from 700, so I think it's gonna be a madhouse. Gonna get to see a few of the friends while I'm in town for just these few short hours. So my doctor was stoked with my progress. Now San Diego party. So I just picked up Lexi from golfing. She said that somebody called out today at Blind Burrow and they need some help. So your boy's going in for a shift tonight and I could not be more excited. <laughs> He's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> Nobody knows that I'm working tonight. I love this job too. Like there aren't, there are very few jobs I would go back and work at. This is definitely one of them. So Ryan, the manager, just told him there's a guest bartender, but they haven't told anyone who it is. I'm honestly a little bit nervous. I haven't bartended since we left. Hopefully I remember the drink recipes. I've just arrived and I don't remember what my damn number was. Layla killing it. We got the degenerate bar regulars. Servers pour their own drinks. <laughs> this place hasn't changed a bit. Nobody thought I would make it. I'm the only dude in security. Guess bartending success. Did you work today? <laughs> this is my homie Rich. He bartends at the airport. He's a G. If you ever fly through San Diego Southwest Terminal, Bankers Hill, he's your dude. I literally got caught up talking to Rich and they were about to leave without the gate agent walked over and like he's gonna leave on the last one. You know, you got a doctor's appointment, that's how it goes sometimes. I think that the budget got extended. A couple days! Honestly, great to see everyone who came out. Thank you so much. I was completely starving after the flight and everything, and I didn't really have time to eat. Uber driver offered to take me to Jack in the Box. I have dinner for Alyssa and I. We decided to stay two more days. Our flights changed for free, and our Amex has a $200 room credit, so we're paying 40 bucks for a room. We are grabbing a quick happy hour of wine and a snack at Italy in Park MGM. Can I get a cheese plate too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This charcuterie board brought to you by everyone who tipped me yesterday at the bar. I don't know if this is a two-person portion. We I smashed it. It's like a six-person portion. <laughs> this place is nuts. If you're looking for gelato, pasta, fish, grilled meats, coffee, wine, aperitivos, possibilities are pretty much endless. This spot, Istanbul in the Valley's Bazaar Shops. Fire, shawarma. It's a chicken, lamb, and beef. Tatsiki and five chili sauce. We got extra lettuce, there's jalapenos. Pita bread's really good, they toast it. Don't call to come back. <laughs> Alyssa surprised me on my birthday and posted, asked everyone to donate $3.70 because I was turning 37. A bunch of people gave us money, so we would not have gambled this trip if it weren't for all the like generous donations. What an awesome gesture to everyone. Thank you so much for the people who Venmoed us. Thanks to Loretta and everyone who donated for my birthday. I knew you boy would get a banana. I told you, dude, I'm a pro. Hey! <laughs>
<laughs> it's just as good as I remember. <laughs> you don't like in and out I don't like you. Where's the lip by? What a fabulous waste of time. I am so full. We went to the Cosmo Buffet with all of our winnings from last night and my birthday donations. Centurion Lounge, Las Vegas. They have like a Euro hash, some chili quiles, scrambled eggs, fresh fruit, oatmeal spread, fresh juices, coffees, and espresso machines. Southwest allows you to change your flight the day of as long as there's seats on it for no charge now. So we gotta move up like five hours our flight. Ha <laughs> ha 